If you were born in the new millennium, there's a large chance that you've missed out on a lot of unique and bizarre experiences that only people living in the 80s and 90s could understand. Before the invention of the internet, people had to make do with entertaining themselves in various ways. With technology, that has since become obsolete. And to enjoy products that, by today's standards, might seem completely ridiculous. Nevertheless, it's fun to look back at some of the things in our past that might have been awesome at the time, but now seem kind of strange or unusual. Before we begin this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new video. Number 17. Overhead Projectors At first glance, you might be curious to know what on earth this crazy old device might be. It may look like a medical device, but in actuality, this was once used to project notes printed on transparencies. Yes, kids. This was before the age of smart boards, tablets, and before every student had their own laptop. Number 16. Zip Drives If you thought floppy drives were fun, then wait till you get a load of zip drives. These bad boys allow you to save larger files, such as music files or raw project files. Unfortunately, they were made obsolete when computers were able to create zip files in their operating system. They couldn't quite catch on and compete with CD drives, so thus the zip drive was no more. Number 15. Paper Fortune Tellers These paper fortune tellers were the most fun ever. Sometimes, you'd wish you knew how to make one, so you'd have to ask around. If you actually did know how to make one of these, you were very likely the most popular kid in school. Number 14. The Talk Boy If you've ever seen the movie Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, you were an enormous fan of the device Macaulay Culkin used to cause all of his mischief. Well, thank the maker, because these were sold alongside the release of the movie as a marketing ploy and boy did it work. Every kid begged to have one of these for Christmas. Number 13, French Toast Crunch. Okay, so apparently they brought these back a few years ago, so hopefully everyone gets to enjoy them now. They were an essential part of growing up in the 80s and 90s. Everybody loved getting to try out new cereals from the grocery store. French Toast Crunch was the best. Number 12. Floppy Disks What on earth are these mysterious squares? Why, these would be floppy disks, you silly geese! This bad boy could store up to 1.44 megabytes in their heyday, just enough space for 5 to 10 school assignments to save and transport between computers. Before USBs, these were the only way to get your files from one computer to the next. If you had to install a software program, they usually came with about a dozen or so disks. Can you imagine? Those were the days. Number 11. Playing MASH Who doesn't love predicting the future? MASH was a surefire way of knowing who your future husband was, where he lived, what kind of car you'd drive, how much money you'd earn, what kind of job you'll have, and what kind of pet you'd own. What's not to love about it? Number 10. Napster Ah yes. Before the days of iTunes and other digital services, there was Napster. Before regulations, and in the days when the internet was in its infancy, this program helped you hook up with the tunes you needed. I never used it, but I knew people who did. Not exactly legal at the time, but they've since turned around. Number 9. Butterfly Clips if there's one hairstyle of the 90s, it's the hair done with butterfly clips. From Sabrina the Teenage Witch to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, there isn't a single female icon of the 90s that didn't wear their hair this way. It was all the rage. It's something you really wouldn't understand. Sorry. Number 8. CD Player Problems In the age where cell phones and MP3 players reign supreme, Young people born before 2000 will never understand the struggle of trying to fit your CD player inside your pockets. Some people designed jeans and coats with extra large pockets so they could fit their CD players. Not only were they ugly, they hardly worked half the time. Number 7. Tamagotchi and Nano Pets These little monsters in your pocket proved to be the first distractions in school before the age of cell phones. The best part of these little guys was when they'd poop digital poops on the screen. It was hilarious, funny, and gave the illusion of responsibility. Number 6. Video Rental Stores Renting movies. Oh, the nostalgia. What you can do with the click of a button today. 
used to be an entire adventure back in the day. In the waning days before Blockbuster finally closed their doors, people may have still been utilizing their membership cards. It was always so fun looking at the video selections, then finally deciding one. At least in the digital era, you can't get any more late return fees. Number five, texting before cell phones. Before the age of people being addicted to their cell phones, there was a special way of communicating during class. It was called passing notes. I know, such a foreign concept, right? The best part was when they involved secret codes or ciphers to unlock the meaning behind the note. Things were basically way more fun and creative. Number four, pagers. Before the age of cell phones, there were pagers, or, or what you'd sometimes hear referred to as beepers. People would call your pager from a phone line, you'd see the number calling you, and you'd hear a beep. Then you'd know you had to call that person back. It's astonishing that this kind of tech existed. You can usually see them in the 90s TV shows and movies. Number three, CD scratches equals the kiss of death. Before movies and music went digital, people listened to them on CDs or DVDs. The worst part about this was when they got scratched, which often was a kiss of death. A few scratches would cause you to never be able to enjoy your CD again. Number two, dial up internet. You need to make a phone call. It's a typical school night. You pick up the phone to call your friend when, boom, you hear that all familiar sound. Then you realize you can't use the phone line because someone is already using the internet on the same line. Thankfully, modems and Wi-Fi have made this a thing of the past. Number one, and finally, a life before the invention of the internet. It's hard to believe what our lives would be without the internet. Anyone born after 2000 would find it difficult to understand a life without being able to search something at the touch of your fingers. Believe it or not, it's actually an amazing thing that improves our lives. It's actually really great being alive in the new millennium. All right, so now that you've made it to the very end and know the top things that people born after the millennium will just never understand, here's something for some of the older generation watching this video. and. It might teach younger folks a couple things too. Here are some things that people born after the 80s won't remember. Yep, that's right. This includes you, 90s kids. Number three, Kush balls. Made of rubber filaments, these rubbery wannabe hacky sacks were stringy, squishy, and all the rage to play with. Number two, cassette tape voicemail machines. We're all at least somewhat familiar with an old school home phone voicemail machine, but if you were born after the 90s, you probably have never experienced the cassette tape based answering machines. Number one, smoking on airplanes. Yes, this actually happened. Believe it or not, it was actually normal to smoke on airplanes in the past. Smoking was banned on all domestic airlines in the United States with a two hour or less duration in 1988. By 2000, all domestic and international flights were smoke free. Pretty crazy. So do you remember anything from this video? If you don't, what do you think is the most shocking thing? Let us know in the comment section below and share with us some of your favorite nostalgic memories from the 90s and beyond. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to What The Facts. Wait. Why don't you fact off with these other awesome videos? Go ahead. Choose the left or the right video and enjoy.